The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Words from St John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 5. At the time of recording, it's uncertain whether or not we shall be living under tighter restrictions during this Christmas and New Year period to help limit the spread of COVID and protect the capacity of the NHS and the well-being of its staff. However hard for business and disappointing for people who'd been looking forward to a more normal Christmas, it's important we all play our part to try and lessen the likelihood of a steep rise in COVID infections, which would have such an impact on the individuals involved, the NHS and their staff and wider society. At times such as these, we are reminded afresh that the good tidings of comfort and joy of which the carol speaks lies not in how and with what we celebrate, but the comfort and joy lies in what it is we are celebrating. At Christmas, we celebrate that the Blessed Virgin Mary, who had said yes to the angel, gave birth to a son named Jesus, which means saviour. Angels sang, shepherds came, wise men learned about his birth in the movement of the planets and stars, and came to bring gifts. The light shone. But this isn't a fairy tale. Herod sent his soldiers and murdered all the boys in Bethlehem aged two and under, because he wanted to be sure to get rid of the boy, whom the wise men had told him was born to be king. Herod would brook no rivals. Joseph had been warned, so took Mary and the baby to Egypt. The light shines in the darkness, and, as in the world today, the darkness was brutally real. So, not a fairy tale, but the promise of God stands, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus still is the light of the world. He lived and proclaimed the love of God. He called people and calls us to live and proclaim the love of God. He died and rose again to make that possible. Our part in the darkness of the world can be confessed and forgiven. And however dark the world gets or seems to get, however dark our lives get or seems to get, Jesus, the light of the world, will never flicker or fade. This doesn't make the darkness disappear yet. And as the New Testament says, it calls for endurance. We are called to turn our faces to the Lord's light, like a plant that grows towards the sun, and to be vessels for his love, like little tea lights. When the sun sets on the 24th of December this year, the celebration of Christmas, the birth of Jesus, God's word made flesh, the light that shines in the darkness, let us then, wherever we are and whatever we are doing, Turn our hearts to Jesus, the light of the world, and proclaim in quiet triumph, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And let us have the courage to walk by the light of Jesus' compassion and grace, knowing that darkness can never swallow up his light. In whatever circumstances you are spending this Christmas, may the light of Jesus lighten your hearts and minds and guide your footsteps, that you may know his peace and comfort. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all, now and forever. Amen.